A lot of you have been asking me to call this the Bone Zone. Uh, so, welcome to the Bone Zone. The Bone Zone. The Bone Zone. Welcome to the Bone Zone. The Bone Zone. Uh, it never feels right. Um, it can be taken so many ways. But anyways, today I want to talk about something pretty kind of intangible. And it's kind of what separates the good from the great. And that thing is taste. Taste is important. You can't master a craft, become one of the best at it until you understand that craft. And yes, there is exceptions. There is the Leonardo da Vinci's where it just comes natural from them. They're, it's a gift from God. But for the rest of us, like me, where it hasn't come inherently to us, you gotta work at that and begin to understand what works and what doesn't. You see, the things you inherently like, the way you choose your cinematography, the art you like, the music you listen to, the clothing you wear, the food you eat, all of this has been developed. This has been something that you may be consciously or subconsciously aware of choosing. Well, if you're subconsciously, you're not aware of choosing it, you just choose it. So how, how do you develop your taste? How do you figure out what's cool? Well, if you're into film, there's kind of a rule I apply to when I'm watching something. The first time you're allowed to watch a film or a TV show, you're allowed to enjoy it. Just watch it as a viewer and just let the experience happen. But then if you're ever gonna go back and watch that movie again or play that video game or whatever it is, listen to that song, it is your job when you watch that piece of art to start analyzing what you like and what you don't like. I, I actually encourage people when you watch films, have a notepad, write down what was working, what wasn't. Be aware of the process. You see, when you write down things you like, you're imprinting them in your brain and you're telling your brain, this is a good thing, I like this. So when you go to pick up a camera, you're gonna be aware of the things that are good, that are working, and this is why it's great to be inspired by other people's work. You know, there was this one chef that I was working with on a commercial here in Toronto, and he was telling me how whenever he goes to a restaurant, he'll go to it twice. The first time is for the experience. He'll just experience it like a guest would, and then he gets to have his emotions, he gets to feel it. Without analyzing it, did I enjoy that night? But then he always goes back to that restaurant a second time, and that second time, he starts picking apart everything. Did they use paprika? He'll open up the sandwiches or the burgers or whatever he's eating, and he'll look at every little piece and study it and wonder, okay, I liked this the first time, so now I wanna understand why I liked this and where I can improve my craft as well. This is what I just did for the incredible documentary series, Night Stalker. Amazing, the first time I watched it, I just enjoyed it as a viewer, and I don't even know if I enjoyed it because I had nightmares myself. <laughs> but then I went back and re-watched that documentary series, and this time I started asking myself, why did I enjoy that? Why was that so good? Why was I so amazed? at the technique. And you can start seeing where the director has the music, where the director chose to do reenactment. How did he shoot his interviews? And I begin taking notes and start understanding what I like about it and where I could improve my work. Now you might feel like, babe, is this copycatting, Mark? No, this is you helping hone in your skills and determine what you want to apply to your work and how you can improve your work. Maybe your interviews don't look that great and you want to understand, oh look, they shot it from a wider angle in Night Stalker and they lit it with a red light from behind and they had a nice soft light from the foreground and they allowed a lot of background to play in this. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't shoot all my interviews so darn tight. And this is why exposing yourself to a lot of art is important. You see, to use another metaphor, if you've ever had a glass of wine, usually your first one you've ever had in your life is gross. It's probably at a wedding and it's cheap wine, or you just never tasted it and it tastes disgusting. Typically, and this may not be for everyone if wine's not your cup of tea, the more wine you drink, the more developed your palate is, and the more you understand the wine you're drinking, the more you can understand what you like. It wasn't until I started learning about the tasting notes in wine that I started developing my taste, and now I would like to think that I can actually choose a half-decent bottle of wine, not just based on the typography that they use in the store. So for you with your films, if you find yourself a bit confused of what makes a good film, go think of your favorite film and go watch it and study it this time. Write down what you like, ask the people around you what was your favorite moment, and begin analyzing that and understanding that, because you can't master a craft until you understand the why. 
So your homework is to go watch your favorite film this week and write down five things, no, 10 things that you like about it and especially find your favorite scene in that film and try to figure out why you liked it so much. Was it the music? Was it the lighting? Was it the acting? What about that scene? Built it apart. Start picking it apart like that chef in his restaurant. And if you want to develop your taste more for filmmaking, I would suggest checking out our Art of Documentary course. We're launching that in just a couple weeks. I know this is a shameless plug, but I believe in our product. I love it. I love our students. We opened it up last year for the first time and within a couple days we had almost 500 students. We had to shut the doors, but we're real opening it now and it's been incredible watching so many amazing students take huge steps in their career, release their first films, get them into film festivals and one of the great things about this course is you get to talk about your films, dialogue on the Facebook group and understand and develop your taste as a filmmaker. Leave some comments below, let me know what you want me to cover in the next one and I'll see you guys on that next one. Have a great day. Bonzo!